Hi guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the gorgeous Amane Taniguchi here. She lent me her beautiful canvas to create this black graphic makeup look for you. You can use any color, it doesn't have to be black or lips color. You can use any color, it's just an idea and then you create from there any option of color you like. I hope you enjoy the look and always give my channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to follow all of us on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always prep the skincare first. I'm gonna have gorgeous skin. I mean, her skin is beautiful, but as I always say, I still prep the skincare first. The first product I use is always a lip balm. And this one is from Kove Seal to Deal Lip Balm. This lip balm you can use for day and night. It's a vegan formula. And it contains hyaluronic acid, shea butter. It's really help to hydrate and nourish the skin. The great thing about this is fragrance free. For me, I don't mind fragrance at all, but some people, they love product with no fragrance. This is the one for you. The second product I'm going to use is the Summer Friday Light Aura Fit C Peptide Eye Cream. This has vitamin C and peptide blend to brighten the area. This is also a vegan formula. And for the eye area or skin for day, I usually like have vitamin C. I think it's great to brighten the skin and the under eye area. Remember, brighten and widen are two different things. Brighten is just like brighten the area, but doesn't mean that it's widen the area. So you don't have to worry about that at all. Next is the COVID Next Up Vitamin C Serum. As I just said earlier as well, I love vitamin C for morning. For eye cream or serum, this one has 15% stabilized vitamin C. It does have antioxidant benefits with grape seeds, extracts, and vitamin E. It's vegan and cruelty free as well. The best way to apply serum is like how I do this right now. You just really press into the skin. All the products I use generally are great under makeup. And this is one of them. I'm going to use Kove last but not least moisturizer. This has Hydrating ingredients like squalene, hyaluronic acid, glycerine. Those are great ingredients for a moisturizer if you're looking for one. This is lightweight and have a whip texture. It's very fast absorbing. The great thing about this moisturizer also, it doesn't contain silicones or essential oil because a lot of people do get allergic to essential oil. All we keep some love to the skin, keep the face a little massage, GD puff to wake the skin up. For foundation and concealer today, I'm going to use the Westman Atelier Foundation Stick Vital Skin. And the concealer I'm using is the new Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Concealer. For those who love stick foundation, this is a great one. It's skin calming formula with rich antioxidant. They has a beautiful coverage. So if you want a lot of lot of coverage, you still can do it 
but I think this foundation is great for someone who don't want a lot of coverage. But if you want to have full coverage, you still can build it up like the way like I'm doing right now. You just really just tip it in. But if not, you just do a very sheer layer and it gives you a nice light coverage. We don't have all the shades. We have just a few shades. This is a pretty nice. And some people, they prefer to use the finger for this, you know. I think it's for you at home. You can use the finger to apply. It's blend seamlessly. The foundation does have a natural finish is also silicone free and I think this is perfect for travel friendly people because you can just like roll it up and roll it down and it's just a small compact like this. The foundation you can make them very light coverage and sheer coverage. I give Amane a bit more coverage today just because you know I thought maybe just for fun make a little bit more fuller coverage and I think it's covered really well. I think it's great. For the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Concealer, this one has skincare infused formula. It does have hyaluronic acid, vitamin E. It does give you that soft matte finish. And you know a lot of time stick concealer can be quite dry but this one is not. It does have a medium coverage, but if you want a really full coverage, you still can get them, you just build them. But the great thing about this, because it's not dry like most of the concealer, so you can still use under the eye without feeling like it's cakey up too much. You can use under the eye, you can use it to pinpoint concealer anywhere you want. a little bit around the nose yeah I think quite beautiful and the great thing about this, I think they have like 20 shades. It's a lot of shades. For contour, I'm going to use the M Cosmetic So Soft Bronze and Scope Stick. I love this shade. It's more like a taupey shade. It's not too warm, which is like a lot of time. People pick up a lot of warm if the, the shade too warm and it look quite red and it shows so much where you contour. This one, the shade, it does help to mimic the shadow or the natural shadow of the face, which is beautiful. Um, this is very lightweight formula. It can be used for contour or bronzing, but because this shade, I prefer to use more contour than bronzing. It does have squalene and vitamin E is such gorgeous it's like skin like finish if you like this kind of finish this is a great one or the bronzing stick from Rare Beauty is also a very similar texture and they both very skin like finish and it's very soft and gentle you see it's just gorgeous And then because I do more full face foundation, these can help me to bring back all the, you know, the jawline, the cheekbone. You can use the powder bronzer, the end to do that as well. 
but I like to layer my products. So I usually use the cream and then the bronzer because for me, it's all about longevity and, you know, and it's like building the house, you know, you go all the steps like that to maintain the longevity in the same way when I do makeup. And I'm also gonna use a little, I'm gonna do a little bit right here as well, just to soften the shades I'm using, not too dark. So I think it's great. It looks very natural still. For powder, I'm going to use the Hot Lab Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. This is a talk free powder. You can use for setting makeup, baking the face. It's pretty light coverage. The great thing about this powder is you don't have to worry about cakey or powdery finish. It does have blurring effects. It is vegan and cruelty free as well. I know I try to remember all these just because a lot of people is really focused on vegan and cruelty free product nowadays. So if I remember anything, I would try to mention why I'm applying it. But for me, I find that's a lot of information. So sometimes I forgot. So you might have to do research yourself. For bronzer, I'm going to use the Le Beige Oversize Healthy Glow Bronzer. This is the same formula at their smaller, but they have a limited edition with a bigger size. So I'm not sure they're still able to sell them, but you can find on the website. I do love this bronzer quite a bit. It is beautiful and it does have that soft texture. It's give you this beautiful, natural, sun kiss finish i love it they only have come in three shades but they're quite universal and the shade i'm using is the medium i think second shade but we always list everything on the description box if i don't mention the shades you can always find us listing everything on the, the description box and you don't have to use the contour like I do earlier. You can do your bronzer finish at the end. As I mentioned already, I like to layer product. So whatever works for you. Because I know some people say, oh my God, he used too many steps. But I mean, I do all the steps. You can skip whatever you like. For eyebrow, I'm going to use two products from Refine, Refi. I am still don't know which one the correct pronounce the brow pencil and the brow scoop gel with lamination effect the gel is like you know this they have one side you can laminate and a comb and the other side it has the gel to start with someone eyebrow like this you can leave it natural or you can fill it in and a lot of people when they see the eyebrow like this they have like not sure what to do because you know you have full brown but not like there's a lot of missing area so uh, this is all personal preference you can create a separate eyebrow shape or you can live like this and just draw in the future hair i mean it's all many different ways to do it because i'm an eyebrow like this she's a model so we're not gonna tweeze them because a lot of time it's better just leave like that so people can create any shape they like for the photo shoot so today what i'm gonna do is, is i'm gonna create the shape just a natural shape i'm not gonna change too much but the best way i'm gonna do and i'm gonna gel the eyebrow first so you can see the eyebrow a little better i did this on the video of one of my Asian mature women. So you can see that the technique I do is more in depth, more of that. But it's a great way for Asian eyebrow or someone who have coarse eyebrow. So you do that first. So you can see clearly where you're gonna draw. And then you just shape the eyebrow in place. You see what I'm doing right now. I shape that in place a little bit.
so it's quite lighter so I cover this so it doesn't dry out and you can see that you just go how high how low it's up to you so you can keep create the bottom one here you can leave it natural but the top one you want to know exactly where you want how high how low you want so you see what I'm doing by now I just create the shape and the upper part first so this is a great way because the top one when it's messy that's when people doesn't know what to do but if you use that you create a clean shape there and when you create you draw the eyebrow in on the little hair here it won't bother you as much but you see that that's the best way to start first okay i'm gonna do the same on the side before i draw them you see that just little the brow gel scope alone you can see it's give the eyebrow some shape already the great thing about this is it does help to Keep the eyebrow in place it have quite strong hold so it helps you frame the eye really well and it's also water resistant and this doesn't have flaky you know sometimes the, uh, the gel flakes off and even it's have that white cast at first it's set clear and i think this even if you not good at eyebrow you use the eyebrow gel and then you can just leave it like that and it's look quite groomed and the brow pencil i'm using this have really ultra fine tips like this so you can detail the hair like stroke it's also long lasting and it's much proof and you see what you're gonna do you can do a little bit like this and I, the shade i'm using a very light because i don't want to make the eyebrow too dark see i'm just do a little bit And you can do this before the gel as well, but I think, I feel like with, with the gel on, it does help you to see exactly where you paint. And I just like put where I need it and I keep the eyebrow really natural. So you see that so now she have a pretty beautiful shape on eyebrow and uh, you don't need to gel any more than this but like I say without gel in the eye first I don't think you can able to create a shape without seeing exactly how flat the hair gonna lie down and I think this is a great way I'm gonna do the same on the other side I think eyebrow is everything on the face so I do feel a lot of people rush when they do eyebrow so do take your time you see that if you want beautiful eyebrow it does take time and you know you take a little time spend and detail the shape that you want and you see the eyebrow before already so now you see it's like it's quite nice and defined all these little baby hair doesn't bother me at all but because you shape really well on the top here the eyebrow now look quite well groomed for eyes area I'm going to use these products the first product I'm using is the eye primer from Rare Beauty and these two crayon Kaja pencil from Barreto one is more like a taupey brown one is black mascara from Barreto and I might use the black shades and the dark shade from Target as well if I want to set the pencil but I just want to see how it looks first before I even decide to use on this one at all but if I do want to use powder eyeshadow to set the pencil then I use just a black one could be any black to start I use the Rare Beauty always an optimist eye primer This is a weightless formula. It's helped to prime and prep in the eye for longer wear eye makeup. So you don't have to use it, but for me, I think, especially nowadays, if you want a long Javri eyeshadow, some eye primer does help.
it helps to prevent creasing and smudging and and this is very sheer it doesn't create like a heavy thick layer so i think it's nice to you next i'm going to use these two barreto crayon kaja pencil one is the black one you see that toppy brown so i'm going to use the black first i'm going to try to make them a little graphic but because i use two shades the second shade i use more blended because sometimes too harsh graphic it's going to be tricky for people to wear them uh, as an everyday unless you want to be fun you can just use one shade and create like a really traumatic one but this one i'm trying to do a bit more still wearable and the shape is however you like it you know you can use this just with the black pencil as well or black cream or anything like that it doesn't have to be the kasha pencil i'm using uh, my channel is never about product focus because we think that channel is all about educational about how to create different makeup look so if you have a black pencil you can use it that's why when a lot of time people would say can you do find me a dupe and i say no it's not my job to find you it's your job to go and find you because you don't want to use this black pencil then you're going to find alternative black pencil that you want to use you know i'm not about product focus because i don't think that you have to use what i'm using because it's all about personal preference you see that I'm just drawing the shape. So this is like however further or however dramatic you want to do, it's all up to you. And the great thing about hooded eye is that you can put a lot of color, but when I look up, let's see, it's gone, you know? So it doesn't look at heavy. Let's look down again. I don't think I even need to use a black shadow at all because I love how I would say how rich this one look in the depth, the shine from the Kaja and I love it. Let's see. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I'm going to do the same on this side. The best way to create this shape is that you can map out first each side, both sides, then you draw. But because I do this side to explain to you how to use this and i do this side and you see that the shape of this side is different because i try to do see how it's look on each of her eye which side i like it better so i feel like the shape on this side i think is a little bit cooler a bit interesting so i'm going to try to match this side same as this side like i say but if you know exactly what shape you want to begin with, then you just use a little outline and even like just like a white pencil or anything like that to do map out. But because I want to play with them, I want to see which one look better. So I do one side each to figure out which one I like better. And I like how this one looking better because I like the shape here. It's keeping that, you know, more interesting. So I'm going to try to match both sides. So the shape is something like this the product has quite intense pigmentation it's very easy to smudge this is a long lasting formula and this one is actually really good for the water line it's very safe and also the product is a vegan formula so it's pretty close enough that both sides but you can use any preference you like so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the darker color I think I'm going to use on the bottom quite natural leave it the way it is. I'm not going to try to like put color there. I think it's good to do more intense on top. You can just put mascara and go just like this. If you want more a blended look, you can use a little lighter shades. And instead of drawing there, harder to blend. You can use like what I'm using right now. I'm just going to soften the edge a little bit. So this is what the brown is for. Close your eye. And I just use that to, to, you know, soften the edge so it doesn't look too harsh on the line. You don't have to do the way I do at all. But the way I'm doing here is give you that diffuse edge just a little bit. And uh, it's all personal preference. So, you know, I'm going to show you I'm doing one side and you can I show how it look compared to the other side. So this is the 
more a browny taupe color and then so I use it to soften the edge it out and every time that shape like this if you make more softer edges it's become more wearable when it's keep for intense it's a cool look but it's not as wearable you see the difference here this is more a softer edges and this is more cleaner line all personal preference so you can decide on yourself but I like this how this diffused edges so I'm gonna do both sides the same way so you didn't have to use a second color like I did but for me I find that so much easier for me to blend to use a second color and just keep that soft edge I mean some people they able to do that without a transition color so if you're able to do that you don't have to use the same way I, I do and I just curl Amani lashes off camera so it's um, I didn't want to like go all like trying to not messing up the black let me just brush whatever hair here is still there and for mascara I'm going to use the Barado mascara this is defined and volumized and lengthened lashes all in one it's waterproof because like this here I think it's great to use waterproof it's long lasting and it's also vegan cruelty free formula so the best way is that you can really stick the finger here you only create the shape so what I normally do for a situation like this I would look down for me and I would just press the product like this because the color of the black and I just lift it up and I just do the mascara like that without ruining and dirtying the the, the eyeshadow so I think this mascara is great for when you do a, the shape like this you see what I'm doing and then I use the same color again so I make a little mess there and I just put it back there I'm gonna do the rest off camera I was not going to set the black here but it's in case you want you can use the black because I think this black is not as black as my pencil so I didn't want to use it but it's the best way you can set you just press the product like this it's gonna help to longevity of the Kajua pencil and this is a great palette it's neutral palette here it's safe for you know all the for you to do all different look um, it's great to have in the kit as well I think it's all matte shades and you know the, the have like warm and cool I think it's perfect and this is also a vegan formula and that's why I said just a little bit here and just set the eyeshadow for highlight and blush I'm going to use these two palettes this is a new palette it's like highlight blush I'm just gonna play a little bit of each you know because I'm indecisive what I want to use and sometimes you don't really know until you really apply on the actual makeup because you're trying the skin it's still not the same and you're trying to win the finish in the eye and everything and I also just got this beautiful palette this is like a blush highlight I think you can use this alone if you want to but I thought it would be nice to do a little bit here you know that's kind of pinky and then the other color I can do in different areas I want to play with them a little bit I, they are really beautiful to start you see what I'm going to do is and I put a little bit right there I think this shade is so gorgeous for around the blush around under the eye area and it gives you beautiful subtle highlight you see that I'm not sure they show on my camera in person it's really beautiful and that's where I'm gonna put the products just mainly there and they very sheer so you can layer them as much as you want to so there that's where I'm putting the product and then I go to this palette and I'm gonna use maybe this shade here a little bit there let me 
you see the color is so gorgeous together. And I go back to the first brush that I use for that color. I do a little bit of highlight here on this part as well. And sometimes you don't have to use all these. I'm a makeup artist, so I like to layer product. I like to layer color. And it's hard to control ourselves, you know, because you still want to play different, you know, and I think it's give you just like diffused color in there. I'm doing the same on the other side. For lips, I'm going to use the Kevin O'Conn Unforgettable Lip Definer and the Clitopal Cream Rouge. They have three different textures. They have matte satin and gloss. The one I'm using is a matte texture. To start, I define the lip shape a little bit. She has gorgeous lip shape. I wouldn't want to change the lip shape and overdraw them because I think the side of the lips is suit her face really well. So I'm just going to define them a little bit. This is really great lip liner. They are dual ended and one size pencil and also is that they can use for the the thing can use for sharpening as well and you know when you do the lip shape that you want more soften the edge like you know I do sometimes and you can use this to soften the edge out slightly smile for me yeah and this you can you really just feel out the lip what I like about the lip liner and the lips color, actually, she chose the color. I think I pull out a bunch of shades and I say, what would you choose? I was going to more like a red color or something like that, but she loved this color. I think it's almost like her lips color, but really enhanced. It's great. And I love this formulation. It's very moisturizing liquid lip cream. It's soft matte finish. And this is a very long lasting formula as well. Such gorgeous formulation. I'm just gonna put it right here as you can see it is better. Because sometimes with the applicators look better with this as well. This is really beautiful color. I think it's very wearable. Right, you picked the right choice by the way. To set the makeup, I'm going to use Fix It and Forget It from Lancome. That's the final look, guys. I hope you enjoy the look for this more little graphic. You can do any shape you like. You can do really standard rounder shape or more pointier shape i mean it's just an idea and you can go from there for the lip the same way you can do red nude any preference you like this is it's just an idea so i mean someone when i watch the video say oh i would do red instead or i do orange instead because i know that's going to be some of the comments but like i said makeup is personal preference so do what works for you i just give you some ideas and then you play from there i hope you give the channel always a lot of love subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to follow all of us on instagram as well thank you for watching